Alright, uh, subtopic 2.2 which is on charging and discharging of capacitors. So in this subtopic, you should be able to state the physical meaning of time constant and use this equation and then sketch and explain the characteristics of charge against time graph and current against time graph for both charging and discharging of capacitor and lastly use the equations. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so this is a schematic diagram for charging capaci a capacitor and discharging a capacitor. Okay, so firstly, when it is not switched on, this is at neutral. Okay, so there bloom lagi ada segregation of the uh, charge. Okay, <clears throat> so when it is switched on, this is the positive terminal, the electron will move from the positive terminal towards the negative terminal lah okay so because of that <clears throat> this will cause the charge to be positive in one side of the plate and then the other side is negatively charged lah untuk capacitor punya plate okay so that is for charging and then when it is being discharged the <clears throat> the apa the charge here will move back to its original plate lah dia akan jadi macam positive positive sini and then this one naji negative negative macam tu lah okay so that is discharging and usually for discharging uh we will use a resistor lah okay resistor resistor okay all right so now time constant it is a scalar quantity with the unit of second it is actually a measurement of how quickly a capacitor can discharge or charge okay can charge or discharge so the 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 equation is this one here. <coughs> so this is a graph. Uh, for uh, apa macam lah? They will show you uh the charge on a capacitor lah. Okay, so this is a charging current. So this one will show us. This R C here is the time constant. So this is the charging current lah. Okay. <coughs> Uh, so basically what you need to know from this diagram is As the current decreases, the charge will increase lah Kan kamu boleh tengok dari sini The graph is inversely proportional Okay <coughs> Okay, sorry Okay, so this bit is important This is where you need to know how to use this equation lah Okay, so this is for charging So in order for you to calculate the potential difference Or the voltage across a charging capacitor uh this equation is the one that you will use lah okay <clears throat> so the meaning of this uh tau here this is tau it is defined as the time required for the capacitor capacitor to reach 63 percent of its maximum voltage okay so if you are asked to define untuk the terms when it is when it is asking you about the voltage across charging capacitor you have to be able to define this okay so this here is your tau lah okay your time constant then for charge on charging capacitor pula <clears throat> uh it is defined as the time required for the capacitor to reach 63% of its maximum charge maximum charge lah Okay, so this is charge, this is vol voltage. Okay, and then the equation is this one here. So make sure you are able to draw this graph. Sometimes the question will ask, kalau dia subjective question lah. Uh, but of course, objective pun masih boleh juga. Okay, and lastly, current in resistor. So the current will drop exponentially in time constant. And it is defined as the time required to, for the current to drop 37 percent of its initial value okay so this is the equation here and then what else so this is just the meaning of each variable stuff okay so make sure you're able to draw this and this is basically just you just have to apply it in a, a problem lah. okay <clears throat> and then for discharging any any tadi untuk charging this one is for discharging okay so the equation Untuk yang ini pula, dia punya time constant is defined as the time required for the charge to drop 37% of its initial value. Okay. <clears throat> and then, untuk... Uh, apa je apa? Uh, betul kan ni? Yeah. And then, un i, this is the diagram. You have to be able to draw it if it asks in the question. 
and then for charge on capacitor the charge will decrease exponentially with time okay if you see untuk charging <coughs> the graph is something like this and then this is your <coughs> time constant sorry uh, same thing goes for charge on capacitor it increases exponentially with time okay okay come on this one then for current true resistor pula instead of drawing like this it changes to this side here okay so the current true resistor the negative side is indicating that the capacitor is discharging and then the current direction opposed the direction when the capacitor was being charged so it goes in the opposite direction when it is being charged lah okay and then the current decreases exponentially with time Okay, logic lah. Sebab uh, discharging, of course, everything will decrease. Sebab you are discharging them. Alright? <clears throat> Alright, so that is the theory part for subtopic 2.2.